Hi everyone, my name is Jamie and I'm here with Nishani and Rebecca and we are instructor therapists here at Canark Autism Services and today we're going to talk about singular and plural nouns. First we're going to talk about regular plurals. Here's the rule, we always add an S if there's more than one. Let's start. Oh look, I have a marker. But what happens if I have two? Two markers. Exactly, markers with an S. What about now? A uh, marker? Remember the rule, anything more than one, you add an S. So it's markers. Markers, exactly, with an S. All right, let's look at what other items I have in here. What's this one? A car. Yeah, one car without the S. What about now? You have cars. Cars, exactly. What about now? You have cars, four cars. Four cars to be exact. Yeah. All right, let's try this one. Balls. Balls, exactly. An S. What about this one? A ball. A ball without the S. And now? You have three balls. Three balls, yeah. Simple. Now we're going to talk about irregular plurals. Now these plurals don't follow the same rule of the regular plurals, which is adding an S after the word. Let's start with the first example. So right now we have one mouse. But when we have more than one mouse, we don't call it mouses. It's actually mice. Yeah. So one mouse and three mice. Awesome. Let's go to the next one. So we have one child here. We don't say child, we say children. Children and child. Okay, so our next one is leaf and leaves. So one leaf and lots of leaves. So the F becomes the ES. All right, we're gonna move on to this side. So here we have one Canadian goose. Goose. Now, when we have more than one, it becomes geese. Yeah, one goose and lots of geese. Here we have a person And here it becomes people. One person and lots of people. All right, we have a really fun one here. This is kind of a confusing one. Rebecca, would you like to talk about this one? I know this one. All right. One moose, two meese. Uh, not quite. One moose. Two moose. It becomes the same. <laughs> and there we have it. Irregular plurals. Wow, these plurals were so different. Thanks, Jamie, for teaching us the difference between regular plurals and irregular plurals. No problem. I hope you guys get to practice some of these at home. And make sure you check out our other Canark Creates videos. See you next time.